Hello everyone. My name is Efom Hine. Welcome to Efom TV. Today, I'm excited to finally show you the process of treating a concrete pond before you introduce your stock or your fingerling into the pond. As you all know, because of the concrete and the cement that you use in building or constructing a fish uh, concrete pond, it is not immediately habitable for the stock or the fingerlings. So there's a process that you take the fish pond or the concrete pond through before it becomes inhabitable. And that is what we call treating of the pond. So today I'm going to show you one of the various ways in which you can treat your pond to make it habitable for your stock. If you don't do it this way, I'm very sorry. You might lose all your fingerlings if you introduce them directly into the pond after construction, if you don't treat it as I'm going to show you. So today I'm going to discuss two basic ways of treating your pond. One is by the use of manure, I mean chicken manure. And the other is by the use of the stem or the trunk of the banana plant or the plantain plant. Today, what the process I am going to use is by the use of the stem of the plantain plant. So watch and learn something from it. the stem of the plantain plant or if you have banana banana is also good the plant you cut the stem of the plant or the dried leaves of the plant of the banana or plantain plant then you cut it into pieces you cut the stems into pieces you cut the dried leaves into pieces after cutting it into pieces you dump everything into the concrete pond make sure it is filled with water so you dump everything into it and then um, you make sure that every um, every part of the pond is filled with the stems and the leaves of the banana plant or the plantain plant.
So, after cutting the stem or the trunk, whatever you, you can call it, then you dump everything into the pond. Make sure you spread it. Make sure every part of the pond has the stem. This is how you treat it. You could use um, as well use chicken manure. So for the chicken manure, you just dump the chicken manure into the pond like this. You, the reason why you are doing this is that you want the stem to ferment with the water to reduce the chemical content of the or the chemical potency of the cement so that it does not kill the fingerlings when you finally introduce them into the pond. Okay, so after introducing your uh, material into the pond, you can fill the water to the brim or to almost the brim. After that, you are going to leave this material or the stem and the trunk of the banana or the plantain plant in the water for some say two weeks or one week. But what I say is that you leave it in the water until you finally see living organisms in the water. If you finally see living organisms, normally you can see some little little tadpoles or maybe frogs, little little frogs. When you see that, that means that the pond or the water is finally habitable. So you can introduce your uh, fingerlings or your stock into um, the fish pond. Normally they take, it takes about a week or two. So um, this is how you are going to treat your pond before you can finally introduce your fish into the pond. Please know this, most people have lost huge amounts of money because they did not know the simple process of treating their pond. And they thought that you can just introduce the fingerlings into the pond after you have done the concrete work and everything. It doesn't work that way. So this is our pond. We are treating it for a number of days until we see living organisms in this pond every day you can come and check and then make sure you spread the leaves around and then you keep on um, making sure you dipping them in inside the water you can do that uh, once every day and make sure that after the week or two you have living organisms in there so after this process the pond is habitable and we can finally introduce a stock or fingerlings into the pond I'm going to show you the process of introducing the fingerlings into the pond in our next video. This is a foam TV. If you like this channel or if you like what I'm saying and you want to learn more on animal farming or fish farming, goat farming, whatever farming that you want to learn in the um, animal farming field, subscribe to this channel. Click on that notification bell, share this video, like it, let other people also watch it and together Let's build our country through agriculture. Thank you for watching.